Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Jason and Jeremy, and we got some slug zombies. Stay tuned. Here we are, another episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews, and what do we have today? We got some slug zombies, mm -hmm. which are uh, scary little ugly guys, which they are kind of scary and they're kind of ugly. They're definitely ugly. Yeah. Now this is a series two. I'm, I'm not really familiar with these. I guess they um, they released a series one a while back, and now they've released a series two. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, online, it shows all three series. Uh -huh. I haven't seen the third one either, so... But I bought these when I saw them, because it's all the ones on the back, and as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my god, it's like Muscle Men or Monsters yeah. in My Pocket, and I got super excited, and yeah. I had to buy them all. all the yeah, little minifigures have definitely made a comeback the last like year or so. Like, oh, yeah. A lot of people have been going crazy for them. Well, limited space is something that you can easily exactly a ton of them on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And they're really cool, like if you're at work or something like that, you can just put them on your desk or whatever, okay. you know? Set them on top in front of your computer at home and stuff, you know. Dash of your car. Yeah. Have one up there. You know, freak out your wife, you know, like put it on her bed rest. <laughs> so when she wakes up in the morning, you know, she's freaking out. And what's kind of neat with this set, they come with actual zombie hunters. Each pack. Okay. Pack, the pink guy is a zombie hunter. So. That's oh, that's what the too. pink guy yeah. is. Okay, so he's he's like a human. He's human. Yeah, and he's all the human. Others are some form of a zombie. Whether and that's be, why they're green. Yeah. Even they have a, a zombie monkey, which is Mr. Jangles. <laughs> Mr. Jangles! Now, it looks like a lot of these are based on, like, um, like uh, other characters. Like, this one looks like Rambo. Yes. Uh, this uh, one looks like Crocodile Dundee. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe that one's, like, like a, uh, maybe, like, uh, Van West. Helsing or something. Or Oh, yeah, he's, like, a Wild West guy, yeah. And then you got a firefighter guy. Yeah, that's pretty okay. good. But they're made by uh, Jack Specific. Jack's, I always want to say Jack. Jack's Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. But it's Jack's Pacific. Who, and they make video games and they do the uh, UFC. Wrestling, don't they? Oh, the yeah, they, well, they do like a UFC or maybe the TNA figures or something like that. They used to do the WWE stuff, but they yeah. they, they lost the license. Oh, no, darn. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, they make a lot of toys. Yeah. So I said we open these up and look at them. Yeah, they're pretty, I mean, the packaging is actually pretty cool. It's, yeah. uh, you know, for like a mini figures, it's. None of them are hidden, you know, you, you see what you get and when you buy it. And um, I like how it's kind of like bubbled out a little bit here on the yeah. front. I think it looks interesting, so. Well, you can buy blind packs. Oh, okay. They yeah, they, that, okay. they have single blind packs, but they didn't have any of those. And there's like a 12-pack coffin thing and some carrier thing. And the coffin 12-pack supposedly has limited edition ones or special ones. Uh, I don't know. But they didn't okay. have any of that crap. I just bought these. All right, so well, let's, let's open them up and check them out. Yeah, let's do it. And here we are. We got them out of package. It was pretty simple. All you do yeah. is rip the package open, and Ooh, I, there they are. Um, it, it does come with a uh, like a list. Um, I guess it's like a checklist for um, a bunch of different ones. And there's a bunch of them that we don't have here. There's like 16 of them listed on the list. Yeah. And we don't have, obviously, we don't have a lot of these. So. And then it also comes in Spanish. Yep. Or French. Actually, it's yep. more like French. And it yeah, looks like most, yeah, understand. most of these characters are based on like some type of pop culture reference, you know, like uh, like this one here is um, uh, what's his name, Andre Agony, I think his name, uh, or Andrew Agony. So it's like Andre, Andre he's a tennis player. Yeah, yeah. You got uh, Mr. Jangles, was it, which is like Doctor Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Yeah. Um, this one here is Mashup Mike, so he's like Mr. T almost. He has a mohawk and he has a bunch of a bunch of metal, um, like uh, necklaces and stuff like that. Macho Mangler. Yep. Zombie Hogan. Yeah, he looks That's, like Hulk Hogan. It's yep. pretty awesome. Um, even got a chunk out of it. This one's Cleopatra coming at you. It's uh, <laughs> Cleopatra coming out of a coffin. Or a, uh, coming like at a, Like a mummy <laughs> casket type thing. So How they spelled coming at you kind of cracked me up. Coming at you. No, it's not spelled like C-U-N-N-I-N. <laughs> 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 Uh, this guy's like an Indiana Jones character. What's what his name? Yeah. I, can't I, I don't remember his name. Groom Trekker. Yeah, Groom Trekker. So he's sort of, sort of. He basically this is what um, Harrison Ford looks like now <laughs> as Indiana Jones. That would be the, the next movie. Yeah. So Shia LaBeouf would be like forty. So yeah. 
Um, what else? Always we got the the chef, the cook here. He has like a, a his foot sticking out his bucket. Stu be you. Stu you. Stu be you. Oh, Stu be you. Stu be you. Stu be Stu be you. And then they have like little bios on here too for him too. So it's Which pretty is, cool. It's awesome. It's like really Stu be you, are. previous job, head chef, likes fresh meat. <laughs> head chef. Yeah. God, zing. That's a Dislikes way. canned food and dumb waiters. Um, favorite food: large intestine lasagna. Ah. Sounds, ah. sounds delicious. And then they give you some goodies, which the good guys, mm -hmm. which like we said, look just like. Yeah, this one is. Uh, this one here is the Captain Payback. Um, I mean, I thought he looked like uh, Rambo a little bit. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what he. He kind of looks like a cross between Rambo and um, what's the guy mm -hmm. from Escape from New York? Oh yeah, like, like a Snake kind of, or whatever. Yeah, snake Plissken. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one's a firefighter. His name is Blazin Basil. Um, so which ones are we missing? Teddy Terror. We don't have Doctor Outbreak. Oh gosh, he Jump Shot Rot and Maximus. Cadaverous. Yeah, that guy was awesome. This guy's pretty cool too. Yeah. So the detailing is up there with Muscle Men. They are, um, yeah. The size is more the size of Monster in My Pocket. Yeah, they're, they're bigger. bigger. Um, but they're 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 more solid. They're they're less rubbery that as Monsters yeah. in My Pocket. You, know? you can kind of move. Um, them a you can bit. move them around a little bit, but they they seem stiffer. They Ooh. they feel more like Muscle Men instead of Monsters in My Pocket. So. Yeah. And the detailing is up there with. Muscle men, like it, they look amazing. So this is something that they say there's a hundred of them. I would probably collect them all if I can yeah. find them all because. Were they about an inch and a half tall? Maybe. Yeah, probably about that. Yeah, some of them are. And some are bigger than others. There's one I saw online that he was. It looked like Andre the Giant. Oh really? Yeah. He's really so big? he has to be huge. Yeah. He has to be. It's supposed to be Andre the Giant. I mean, it looks exactly like him, but all. Well, he kind of looked like that anyway. Yeah. yeah. So. so whoa. Um, so overall, I mean, what do you think? I mean, I, th I think they're pretty cool. I, like I said, the nostalgia factor of these is just mm -hmm. like, oh, so heavenly. Uh, the price isn't too bad. I think it was three ninety nine for a three pack, and I think you can get. I imagine the blind packs are probably dollar fifty. Yeah, and and maybe or three. Like the twelve pack is around ten bucks or something like that. So you get, it's 10. actually less than a dollar figure. Like so, if you buy by a twelve pack, yeah. Yeah, and that way they say you get exclusive. So yeah. So know. there is some collectability involved oh, yeah. here, and you can always trade with your friends and stuff like that, or, or if you find people online that um, that buys them, also I'm sure you can go on some forums and and mail them to each other or whatever. So you yeah. get a bunch of doubles and everything. But and if you like painting stuff, these would be really cool to actually paint mm -hmm. up. To yeah, you can definitely do some customs or you know you know do some paint jobs on them. It, that, that would be pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, I would definitely highly recommend picking them up. Um, I think they look great, um, great detail. And um, yeah. for the price, it's not bad. No, you know, you're no. looking at like buck, maybe buck, buck and a quarter per figure or something like that. So really, that's not that bad to do. Not bad at all. And um, if we come across any more of them, we'll probably review those also. So definitely. And once yeah. you see the pictures of these, you'll be like, whoa. Yep. So, so, all right. I'd definitely go out and pick them up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you.